Season two is officially here and there's just so a lot to get into it. You saw a bunch of social media posts from SDS if you follow them. And a lot of people are confused about what cards can I use from season one? When do I get to unlock wild card spots and how many cards do I get from season one that I can use and transfer over? Let's just get right into it and see what we can get fast. And make sure you guys spend your time efficiently grinding for these cards. You don't want to waste hours doing something that's not going to get you a card. If you have limited time to play the game because of job, uh, school, hobbies, friends, life, anything, you want to make sure you're doing these programs and these game modes efficiently and not just playing aimlessly. So that way you can get cards that you can keep and hang on to for a little bit. So what do we got? Season two, you get two free season two packs. So they've already been added to your inventory. One of them is a cornerstone hitting captain, pitching captain that gives a boost to both hitting or pitching or one or the other. And then five season two starter kit packs. Um, so that's five standard packs. Head start rewards. So with the head start from how much we played in season one, at least me, I get 20,000 XP, the 10,000 XP, a ball and pack, a five ball and pack. And we almost got the 30,000 XP. We missed it though. Season two is going to be season two cards and core cards. And we'll worry about season three, August 29th. 95 overall Chipper Jones and 99 Hall of Fame Ken Griffey Jr. That card art looks amazing. And I actually, I actually went ahead and made this card early, um, as you can see right there. If you guys don't know, if you're stumbling upon this video and you're new to my channel, I do make in real life MLB The Show cards. You can follow me on Twitter to find out more about it. Wildcard slots. So wildcard slots will allow you to add a player from past seasons to your squad, and you still remain eligible for the current season. Now, there is something that SDS posted earlier saying that not all game modes are stringent on what cards you can use based on the season. So... There's going to be certain game modes where you can use every single card that you've gotten so far, whether it's Season 1, Core, or Season 2. There's going to be some game modes where it depends. I'm guessing that's going to be like BR and Events. And then Rank Seasons, apparently, I think until you get a wild card spot, is just Season 2 and Core cards. Let's get into it. So you get an 85 overall. Uh, contains three players. You get to choose one. You get the Hitter Captains pack. You get the five standard packs, like I said. Um, I got the ball and pack from the head start. You may not have gotten that. You may have. And then those are left over. Everyone does get this pack, though. All right, so first captain. This is the one I was eyeing up because it's a live series captain. And I think, personally, if you want to get your squad off to a fast start, you pick this captain and just make your team all live series players. He's going to give 15 contact to both sides, 12 hits per nine to pitchers, and 10 walks per nine. Um, if you have 19 live series players on your squad, so that can be pitchers and hitters, you know, you got 14 hitters, including the bench, you got five rotation spots, um, and then you got the bullpen. So if you mix that up and you earn some cards along the way, you could still maintain this boost for a little bit. And just remember, don't collect your cornerstone captain because you can probably exchange him for one of these other captains in this pack. Raphael Devers. So big fan of Devers myself. The card itself looks okay for an 88 overall. I don't know how you guys feel about the whole going back to 88s and 89s, 87s, all the discourse about it already. I have my opinion on it, and um, uh, we're going to have to see how this season goes to determine if anyone's really still motivated to, to keep up with this. Tier 3 boost, 11 hitters, with under 75 fielding on your squad. That, to me, is not intriguing because I think fielding is very important, especially in this year's game. They did add over 400 new defensive animations in the offseason. I've already noticed a problem with low fielders just dropping ground balls right in front of them, even when they get in front of the ball. And it is costing me runs. It is costing me double plays. It is costing me innings. I think fielding is way more important in this game than any other MLB The Show game in previous copies. And I've been playing this game for a while. But 15 power to both sides is good. 15 play vision, 15 batting clutch. Sorry, 5 play vision and 5 clutch. It's all hitting attributes. 11 hitters, though, for Tier 3. Um, you know, that's that's not as many as the live series captain, so maybe you can get that a little bit easier. Uh, Corbin Carroll. 85, 84 contact. 95, or sorry, 99 speed and base running ability and steal and all that. And it's a speed, basically a speed boost, or, you know, that's how you fit the squad. 12 hitters with over 84 speed in your squad. I feel like that's not going to be too hard to meet once we get some, you know, fast players. 15 contact at both sides, 10 play vision, 5 reaction time. That is 
the best boost in my opinion out of all these that I've seen so far. We got one more to look at. I like this one a lot. All right, then we got Stanton as the final one. He's gonna have 88 and 115 power. And the boost is 11 hitters from the years 2010 to 2019 on your squad. Not bad, 15 power versus both sides, 10 bad and clutch. And it won't be easy, I mean, it won't be hard to meet that requirement. 11 hitters from, you know, that's all the live series cards and whatever new card that comes out. So any pipeline cards, any, oh, I'm sorry, no. 2019 is the cap. I don't know if, the, if that includes live series, actually. It, it probably doesn't because that's 2024. So I'm going to be interested to see how easy or hard this requirement for this captain is to meet with these players. We'll find out. For some reason, I just, in my head, I went from 2010 on. But it's 2010 to 2019. And that's the captains. I have to pick one right now because I opened the pack. And I think... I think I'm going to go with Luis Castillo first. All right, so that is the cornerstone captain. We have a 99 overall Hall of Fame Roy Halladay uh, with the Phillies uniform on. Your first wildcard spot is at 57,000 XP. All right, so that's not bad at all. I thought it was 500,000. Um, 57,000 XP is, is easy to get considering if you played a lot of season one, you get a head start. So that's not bad at all. Like you get these packs, get some stubs, get some ball packs along the way, and then you get one wild card spot. The next wild card, there's also a 91 overall somewhere in here at 145,000. That will help people. Okay, never mind. It's not a live series. So along the way, you just get lesser versions of the boss packs. It seems like. Yep. This might be one of the most stacked boss packs I've ever seen just in any three player pack in Emily the Show history. Hall of Fame Chipper Jones, Hall of Fame Ken Griffey Jr., and Hall of Fame Roy Halladay. All tremendous picks. I honestly would not blame you for picking any one card over the other here. And you guys are set. Like, this is awesome. This is what's motivating me to play the game, getting these cards and having fun with them. Roy Halladay, walks per nine is 122. You're going to die with them. Three quirks. This is incredible. Ken Griffey Jr., 116, 104 contact, 120, 115 power, 100 vision, 107 clutch. is a little lower than I thought it would be, but he has 96 fielding, 92 arm, and 90 accuracy, 93 reaction, 81 speed, and then you got the rest there. Quirked up, as always. Chipper Jones, one of the best switch hitting um, power guys in the game. Max contact, 115 power, and a 102 power, 104 vision, 125 clutch this might be the best card in the game i know you guys love this he's quirked up as well not as many as griffey but still a lot of quirks i think a lot of people are going to have chipper jones p5 more than any other card in this game before you even get some of these other cards all right you get some millionaire packs along the way of course i saw a 95 overall pack let's go to that let's get a chase pack seven in there it's kind of random yep so it's it's the same um, Chipper Jones, Griffey from 22, the card art at least, and then Roy Halliday on the Blue Jays. All right, so those are pretty cool. Uh, you guys can look at these yourself. Um, just diet, more diet versions of these cards. But I'm okay with that, man. The boss packs, the boss pack looks really good. Program, we have the season award program for Nick Castellanos. 89 overall, recorded his 1500th hit. He can still play right First, third, and left. And uh, 90, 108 contact, and 78, 90 power. 71 vision, 100 clutch. It's all right. It's an 89. That's just what an 89 card looks like uh, pretty much every time you get one. So pick your poison with the 89s. They're all the same attributes. It's just whatever swing you like best. I would go with that one. All right, so here's the collection pack for season two. We get a 99 Derek Jeter. I'm a fan of that. I know some people aren't. I liked his 23 um collection live series collection card a lot had it in my game for a long time in my team bob gibson and frank thomas we've seen 99 bob gibson and frank thomas a ton of times these are a bit recycled for my liking too recycled for my liking but those they're gonna be good cards i think i'm gonna go with jeter first um max contact max clutch 110 vision 82 and 92 power similar to like a jimmy rollins hitting a tribute list but um right-handed Correct up, 92 fielding, 99 arm. You know, I, I think I'm going to go with him. I like his swing, Bob Gibson. He'll have outlier on the fastball. 
98 walks per nine and 91 control. This is going to be the best Bob Gibson I think we've ever had. Frank Thomas, we've seen a lot of him. This is probably the best Frank Thomas I've seen as well. Uh, max clutch, max power against lefties and contact, and then 116, 111 against righties, 101 vision. He, he swings the bat well. I don't think he gets a ton of lift on the ball a lot, but he's crooked up. He's going to hit some homers for you still. Mariano Rivera and Big Mac. I think most people are probably going to take Mo here. Uh, given that everyone's pitching and hitting with 89 overalls to 95 overall cards, I think he's the better choice over Big Mac, hands down. I think Team Affinity is going to give us some cards that we can use over Big Mac, even if the power is not as severe as uh, you know Mark McGuire. People just really don't trust his swing to be good anymore. Um, he only dropped in the game last year, but it was it, it was up there with a Mike Schmidt level of bad swings. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think I don't think people are gonna pick him. All right, so it looks like they added golds and silver packs back to this, which means there's gonna be gold and silver players in your draft. A lot of people complained about that. I think SDS actually listened to the people who did not like the addition of more diamonds. I didn't really feel a certain type of way about the more diamonds. I was kind of indifferent to the whole thing. I, I completely get it, though. I feel like Battle Royale needs to stay this way, where it's like, really, your silvers and golds are staples of your team, and you got to draft them wisely. All right, cards that you're comfortable with or silver and golds that play above their attributes. All right. Um... Let's just look at the program pack. It's going to be Vinny Castilla and Mike Messina, 91 overall. So if you're not typically that good at BR, I don't think these cards are really worth grinding a lot of BR just to get the program pack. If you want to play other game modes first, I would do that. And if you have time to get this, you know, have at it. Um, but I would probably put this a little bit lower on my priority list if I'm not, if I'm not going 12 and 0, 10 and 0. So if you know you can go flawless, get these cards. Keep them, sell them, do whatever you want. If not, maybe maybe go so some other routes to get better cards first. And let's take a look at what else we got. Yeah. So you get two free millionaire packs in the shop. We have Triple Trey. Trey Turner as the chase back reward. Really good lefty killer. With max contact and 98 power. Not nearly as good against righties. 76 vision, 99 speed. Decent fielding. It's kind of a weird chase back card. 92 overall. Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you think of these cards. Um, you got the events real quick. I forgot about this. Luis Robert. Um, it is Robert. It's not Robert. It is Robert technically, but I think he wanted to be Robert. He even said that himself. Um, if you want Luis Robert, 20 wins. What do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. If you're still motivated to play, if you really want to get Chipper, Ken, Ken Griffey Jr., Roy Halladay, or if you just don't care or don't have the time to play it, and you're off the game. Because I feel like that's where everyone's at right now. They're kind of hanging on the balance, and it's either all or nothing. So let me know where you guys stand. I'm going to try to get those cards, Roy Halladay, Chipper Jones, Ken Griffey Jr., and then uh, we'll see what is in store for the rest of Season 2. All right, stay tuned.